Hello, Cipling users. Now I'd like to show you how to play Spark in Cipling doc image. So uh, here's the command I would like to run to uh, launch the Cipling doc container. So I need to specify uh, several parts. This part is used to expose the uh, Cipling UI, and this is to expose the Spark UI. And uh, this part is to expose the uh, Shining app. And besides that, I need to mount the uh, Spark distribution and specify the Spark home and the uh, sibling local IP, which we used for the uh, Shiny app. Now, let me run this command. Okay, now sibling is started. Let's open that. Okay, we can see this is the home page of Zeppelin, and uh, we can see that Zeppelin is shipped with several SPA tutorial. Let's open the second one, the SPA basic features. And in this tutorial note, uh, we will read one CSV file and uh, process that file and uh, register it as a SPA table. Now let's run it. By the way, this is just a uh, Scala code. Yeah, and after that, we would run three SpaceQL to query that data. And let's just wait the Spark equation launched, because this is the first time we launched the uh, Spark code, so uh, it will take uh, a little longer. Just be patient. Okay, we can see the output here. Okay, this is down, and now let's query that table. And uh, the second job, and the third job, yeah. Okay, this is down. And this is the uh, built-in visualization of the uh, uh, of the uh, Spark result. So now let me open another tutorial. This is the PySpark. So this is the tutorial for the PySpark, and in this tutorial note, we uh, we have a lot of uh, useful. Uh, Code examples for you. For example, uh, this is create data frame from the uh, Spark session, and we can also uh, create data frame from the uh, Spark uh, data frame reader. This is to uh, read the data from uh, one JSON file. Okay. Yeah. So this is how to uh, add a new column, remove column. And this is for a select subset of columns, filter loads, create UDF, group by. Uh, there's so many uh, examples. So you can just run them by yourself. And uh, next, I would like to show you how to run the uh, Spark R application. So uh, here is the Spark R examples node. And uh, you can let me show you how we do visualization in the uh, in Zeppelin. So basically, you can use the uh, R plotting library in, in Zeppelin, such as the uh, R built in plotting and the ggplot2 and the Google Viz. So, next, I'd like to show you how to build the Spark R Shiny app. Let me, but first, we need to make a configuration. So, we, let's, yeah, using port. 67H9, 67H9, so that we will use a fixed port to expose the uh, Shiny app UI. Let me save that. So when I click the save, it will actually restart the uh, interpret. Now let's open the Shiny app node. Okay, let's run that. 
So basically, if you like to uh, write Shiny app in Zeppelin, you need to uh, write at least three uh, paragraphs. One paragraph is for the uh, Shiny server, another paragraph is for the Shiny UI, and the third paragraph is just run this uh, Shiny app, and uh, Zeppelin will embed this Shiny app as a uh, as an iframe in the uh, Zeppelin notebook. So now let's wait the uh, shiny uh, application launched. Okay, it's running. Yeah, just be patient. Okay, uh, let's run the second paragraph and uh, let's run the uh, third paragraph. Okay, now we can see the uh, shiny app. Uh, let me select another item and you can see it has a uh, spark job link that means this spark job is long underneath okay you can see right okay so basically this is just the uh, how to run the uh, spark in uh, in Zeppelin doc image so in, in that environment you don't need any uh, complex environment setting and uh, there's so many tutorial notes in Zeppelin so just enjoy yourself and uh, hope this is useful for you. Thank you.